Well, the first thing is that I don't think any practice owner or manager can turn things around well or for any length of time or any way that's going to stick unless they are willing to take a look at how they contribute to the problem and they are willing to change themselves. So having said that, I will tell you that I recently worked with a practice owner who had taken this approach that it was sort of me versus the rest of the crew, me meaning her, the practice owner. And she didn't do that because she was a, she was a bad person. I think that she just thought that that was what you're supposed to do when you're a practice owner. And so after talking to her a lot and um, her, again, her willingness to change, we, we turned that around so that she decided to work with her team to ask themselves as a group, what is standing in our way? What is preventing us from achieving our mission goals? So she turned that me versus them to an us versus what are the, how can we defeat these things that are preventing us from getting to the mission statement? And they turned things around. And I will tell you that the change was not immediate, but I would say it happened in about three to four weeks. The, the morale lifted up, the, certainly the compliance of their standard of care lifted up. And, uh, and I think I'm, I'm sure on some level, well I know on some levels, that she just sleeps easier at night. And uh, you know, before I cited that example of there are some practice owners that, that, uh, d that maybe don't walk their talk, but they get it done because they've created this environment in which people can succeed, at a, at, succeed uh, and feel like they s are successful because they're completing a, uh, a task. But I don't believe that those people are the ones that sleep as well at night as those owners who are working with the people that they employ to solve problems and figure out how to take better care of patients and clients.